Hey guys, have you checked out this awesome video where Jordan made this really big stool out of resin? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it in a miniature size. We're gonna put a little face on it and we're gonna turn it into a really cool ghost. So you're probably wondering why I just covered these plates with plastic. So you need the plastic because epoxy does not stick to plastic. So if you were just to pour it right onto the plate, you would just have a plate of epoxy and you don't want that. So I layer it with some Reynolds wrap. It's just a clear little layer. I'm using a nine inch plate here. And then what I like to do is add a barrier. So resin usually will stay inside the barrier. I'm just using little beads here. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it around. So the plan here is to pour the epoxy right in the middle here. So that way the edges hit the rocks over here. I'm using clear rocks for this one, and then I'm gonna use green rocks for this one. And then I'm gonna do something I've never done before. I'm gonna try one without any barrier at all. That way I could show you guys the difference and see if you guys wanna use a barrier or if you don't wanna use a barrier. So this is my first time trying that and we're gonna we're gonna do this together. This is kind of what I want to achieve. I think that's really what makes it look ghostly, you know, kind of like the ghost is just dripping up, dripping down. Um, so here's another example of it not dripping as much. It still looks awesome. It's still cool, um, but you didn't really get as much drippage as you did with this one. You definitely wanna be putting some gloves on for this project. Anytime you use epoxy, you really want to be using gloves. So I have come to the conclusion that each ghost is perfect at three ounces. So I'm gonna mix nine ounces of resin, three for each ghost, and then we're just gonna simply pour it. This is the easiest part. Okay, so we're using Aluma Light's Amazing Clear Cast, and we're gonna pour about nine ounces. What's half of nine? See, I don't like doing math. Guys, what's half of nine? 4.5. 4.5, okay, let's go with 4.5. That's about four and a half. And then we're just gonna fill it all the way up to nine. So that's about nine ounces. So you wanna start off really slow and when you're mixing, you wanna make sure you're getting the, ed the edges. So you could mix this for five minutes and you could think it's good, and if you didn't scrape those edges, it's not gonna cure perfect. Okay, so now you can see the resin doesn't have any striations. It's completely clear. It's not really cloudy anymore. So now you know that your resin is ready to be poured. I'm gonna do three ounces. and try and not make a mess. So we're gonna be using Illumilite's dyes for these. I'm gonna be using green, white, and purple. So these are different uh, from alcohol inks. They have a little bit more contrast to them, or I should say a lot of contrast. You just need one or two dots at most. With alcohol ink, sometimes you need to squeeze like half the bottle in there to get the color. But with these, like the color is beautiful. I can't wait to show you guys. So, all right, so we got our colors here, and this is literally the easiest part of making a ghost. So I'm gonna start with the green first. All you do, just... And you see the edge kinda just goes right to the beads. So we just poured down our epoxy. We have the beads over here creating a nice barrier. Uh, this is when you can go in and with some designs. I personally love glitter, so I like to sprinkle some glitter on top. Um, you can make them different colors. You could even like pour like a little purple in there and make some fun shapes. Um, again, you just want to keep it like just epoxy base and maybe some glitter. You don't want to add things that need to specifically be placed places. Um, so now I'm just going to go with my glitter and I'm just going to sprinkle. Now we're gonna make the models that you're gonna to use to transfer the epoxy to the model. So I kind of rigged these cups together and then I, funny enough, use these little spooky balls. So you're gonna lay it on top, take some painter's tape, duct tape, whatever you got, and we're just gonna tape it. And you have your little model. You do wanna get it rounded as much as possible. It shouldn't matter too much if you have it timed correctly, um, but say you pull it off too early and there's a lot of spillage, the top will get really thin and you'll see every little increase. So again, the importance of moving it at the, at the right time. 
So now we have our epoxy on our plates, we have our beads down, we have the designs, we have our models taped and ready to go, and now we're just going to wait. And I'm very impatient, so this part is my least favorite, but it's, it's part of the process and it's what you have to do. So I set my timer for an hour and 45 minutes because you want to be checking. After the hour and a half mark, you really need to be checking every 10 minutes with a toothpick, just seeing how tacky it is. Usually I'll kind of like lift the resin to see if it's ready to be moved. If it pulls, if it moves at all, it's not ready to be moved. So now we're going to wait till right now. Okay, so we have our white one here that is now ready to be transferred. We have our little model. I'm just gonna stick it right here. Pick up the plastic from the edges. It's really hard, but it's important to make sure that the plastic edges aren't touching the surface at all, because once it touches that resin, it's not coming off. So just be careful and keep that in mind. I'm just gonna slide my hand right under it. If you have any excess beads or anything, just make sure they don't fall off on your surface. And we're just gonna drape them. You can see as I'm pulling, I'm kind of shaping it to the way I want. Okay, so this one is the moment of truth. I have never done a ghost without a border before, so this is a first, and we're gonna see how it goes. I'm just gonna put some tape on this guy because he looks like he needs a little bit of help. The reason why we're taping this is just so you get that extra draping effect. If you let it kind of just sink all the way down, I mean, it's still a cute little ghost, but I want all that draping because I worked hard to get that draping and I want it. We're gonna leave this guy here for 12 hours, 18 hours. You really wanna leave it for a long time because after that, you're gonna have to remove the plastic. So you want the resin to be like rock hard when you remove the plastic. So we let our ghosts cure overnight and they're now ready to be demolded. So I'm just gonna test them with my little tapper here. And they're all ready to go. So now we're gonna remove our model here and then the plastic. This can be a bit tricky. It might take some time to remove. And it gets a little tighter and it's harder to remove because it's in that fold there. So you could leave it or you could hit it with a heat gun. They'll melt away. Okay, so we're gonna move these aside and I'm gonna move on to the green one. And as you can see, this guy is a lot droopier than the white one. And that's because we pulled this one first. I thought it was at the right cure. Um, Clearly I was a little wrong, but if you like this look, you can go with it. Cause now you can see you got some of the holographic glitter pooling on the edges, which gives it a really cool effect. So you might need some scissors for this guy if you wanna just cut around it and then maybe let it cure for another 24 hours before you wanna remove the plastic. It's a little bit different than this one, which the plastic just kind of came right off. We're gonna move on over to my little experiment one over here. As you can see, you got some really cool pooling without the pebble stopping it. So you have this example here where the pebbles pulled, the resin pulled around the pebbles here, and then you have this where there were no pebbles at all. Okay, so we have our ghosts here. We remove the plastic and we remove the models. So now they are ready to go. Um, we're gonna draw some faces on them, and this is probably my least favorite part because it's a bit too tedious for my liking. So I'm going to phone in a friend. You might have recognized her from a few videos. So here is... Kelly! <laughs> Hey, fancy meeting you here. Yeah, so I made some ghosts here and I really need your help, okay? I like so them. So I wanna draw some faces on them, but as you know, I'm not much of a tedious girl. I don't like doing little things, so I thought maybe you could help me out here. I got your back. Wait, can I touch them? Are they Absolutely, dry? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, I like this. The purple one is for you. <gasps> I get to draw on this one? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like an oil spill. Yeah. I like it. All right, so you ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome, I have these handy dandy paint markers. I'm thinking right. white for your ghost. Ooh, yeah. Right? I like that. And I'm gonna use black to draw my faces. I'm just gonna draw a regular ghost face. What about you? I'm thinking about it like melting, like okay. a melting smiley face. <laughs> awesome. So I have one more trick up my sleeve. Are you ready for this one? Ooh, yes. Okay, so. 
Since these guys are quite perfect, I'm going to take some battery operated tea lights. Do not use real flames, okay? Only battery operated. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna slide it right underneath the ghost. <gasps> that way you could leave them out for Halloween. You could put them in your windows and let them glow. Oh really, it's whatever you wanna do. This is so cute. As you can see, this guy here is having a little bit hard time glowing. He is. <laughs> I know he's purple, but he really does look black. Should we try to use the monster light that we have? Stop. Now you can really see that color. And you could probably use like some fairy lights and put it in there. Oh, or that would be so cute. Maybe like, what'd you say at Michael's they sell these little? Yeah, the little LED pucks for like putting a light instead of a pumpkin. Uh, like your jack-o'-lantern and stuff like that. Maybe that would fit yeah. under one of these. This guy just needs a little bit he more He just help. needs a little love. All right, so now should we see these without the lights on? Oh, yeah. Okay, should I get these and you get those? Yeah, I'll get that one. Okay, all right. Oh, this is awesome. I had so much fun making these little ghosts. I've made over 200 of them by now, so they haunt my 200? My yeah. Girl. Holy cow. Yep. I usually am a little crazy and I make 10 of them at once instead of just making three. And uh, I make a giant mess and uh, that's why they call me Messy Jessie. So, if you guys want to make a mess with us, if you enjoyed watching this video and you want to make your own ghouls, we would really love if you tagged Illumilite. So if you guys make any ghouls, just please be sure to tag us. We would love to see what you come up with, what fun faces you come up with, and all the different color combos. This is so fun. Thank you so much for having me. I loved making little Melty Melvin. Thank you he for was, coming. He was fun. You really brought that one to life. I Aww. don't know what I would have done. Uh, without that, so thank I've, you for helping. You me did the, the hard tedious. work. I just came in with the little. Part. No, 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 no. <laughs> the tedious part is the hard part. Okay. My favorite part is draping them and shaping them. Oh, I love this that this part. one is really cute. Yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> Forever.